what's up guys, the Minimuggy here, and today we've got another Battlefield 4 video for you guys. This is a British Army setup. Let's go. This is my nation, boys. We've just left the EU, as you know, so this is probably going to come in handy for all you Brits, because we're probably going to have to arm up and, uh, I don't know, go to war, because shit's about to happen. Okay, it's World War 3, the pound is now down to, I don't know, um, zero, and um, we're all going to die. Uh, Putin's going to send his nukes, and freaking Barack Obama's just going to hide in his bunker, and freaking Donald Trump will take over and just launch nukes at Korea, because... Well, he's Donald Trump. You know what? He'll probably just rape a Mexican and say, Oh, the Mexican raped me, you know? He's fucking retarded. Anyway, so let's get straight into this setup and, you know, tell you guys this shit, alright? So, yeah, let's do it. So, obviously, there's uh, the British Army. So, if you're not British and you, or you are British but you're a retard and don't know much about our armed forces, then let me inform you on what weapons we're using today. We are using the LED 5 a 6 which is an assault rifle variant. Okay guys, its max damage is 24.5, which is decent for an assault rifle. Its minimum damage is 18. Its drop off starts at 12.5 me uh, 12 meters, and its drop off ends at 60 meters. So to be honest, it's a pretty good gun for mid to long range, uh, but close core combat is pretty badass as well, as you'll see in some of the clips down below. Uh, well, down below, am I retarded? Jesus Christ, no, in the video, you read. Anyway, um, it's, uh, what do you call it, fire rate is 750, which is pretty good, but in burst fire, it's the same, because it doesn't have burst fire, um, kill me. Anyway, um, but it does have single shot, and I've used single shot quite a lot, and yeah, it's, it's pretty badass. Um, it's muzzle velocity is 640, okay? meters per second or, or whatever the f that is um, but yeah it's bullet drop is 15 meters per second squared because that's pretty dank it's mag size is 31 that's pretty awesome as well uh, and then it's uh, reload empty is 3.75 seconds which is gr uh, great good whatever the fuck you call it um, it's reload when there's at least a round left in the mag is 2.55 seconds and then it's reload threshold is 0 0.77 times or whatever the fuck that is, I still don't know. So yeah, but obviously they don't use it stock, so we're going to be using the prism sight, which basically just... Everybody uses the ACOG sight when I see people do this, and I don't think it fits, because we don't exactly use an ACOG sight, and it doesn't look like the ACOG sight in uh, like the real world. And I reckon the prism is a bit more accurate, but there, you know, it's whatever you think. So, I went with the prism sight for myself, I went with heavy barrel just to give me a bit more stability, uh, not stability, but, I don't know, I just, when I run it with heavy barrel, I just do a lot better, and, but you don't have to, the heavy barrel doesn't really change the appearance anyway, and then, uh, then I used a, I think it's the, I don't even know, it's just like the straight thing, the, it's a grip, okay, it's like the really straight one that looks, you know, pretty straight, anyway, um, the next, uh, weapon we're going to be using is the um, I think it's the G18 yeah G18 now the G18 is pretty freaking badass right but the British military use the G17 and but you know in uh, Battlefield 4 we don't actually have the G17 we have the G18 the difference is the G17 is a single shot and G18 wait no the G18 is a fully automatic and the G17 is a single shot so I'm gonna be reading over the stance of the G18 but yeah I'm good in the video I'm obviously using it in single shot because that's a bit more accurate so its max damage is 22 its minimum damage is 12.1 its drop-off starts at 8 meters and its drop-off ends at 55 meters so to be honest it's pretty pretty good its fire rate is 900 rpm its muzzle velocity is 380 ms so meters per second and its bullet drop is 15 ms squared we have a mag size of 18 it's 18 mag size of 18 its reload time when the mag is empty is 1.45 seconds and its reload when at least one round in the magazine left is 1.2 seconds its reload threshold is 0.9 times or x or whatever the fuck it is anyway that is the kind of setup or the models 
of the things. Um, we're using the G18, or as we're going to be using it as a G17 in this case, stock, because that's what they do. I mean, you could use an M9, but then you'd probably be using an older version of the British military, considering we have updated to the G17, because, well, it's pretty badass in real life. And, well, it's pretty popular as well. So, I really hope you enjoy the rest of the gameplay, guys. And I've been a Monkey, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!